Hi guys, uh, welcome back to uh, my channel. Uh, today what we're going to do is I'm um, going to give you a little tutorial on how I paint um, some of my figures. I'm doing some Crimson Fists at the moment and we've got um, an Assault Marine here. Um, so all I'm going to do really is just go through basically what I do and uh, we'll take it from there. So the first thing we're going to do is going to get uh, some Mordium Blue It's not the new paints, but I'm using up all my old uh, stock of paints at the moment So we just take some Some of the paint put it in your palette Add some water to it So you get a nice uh, flowing consistency there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over all of uh, the figure and just cover it, give it a nice coverage, it may take a couple of coats but you get the general idea of what we're going to do here so I'm going to carry on and do that and when it's finished um, we'll come back Hi guys um, here we are back again, we painted them all uh, blue, uh, covered, give them a good coverage with the uh, Mordian blue. What we're going to do now is um, all the silver bits, we're going to go over um, anywhere that needs to be uh, silver. We're going to go over with bolt gun metal, as you can see I've started on the, uh, the chest um, plates there. Um, we're going to do the gun, um, the little grills inside that um, the sword and uh, any little skulls and that like on the back of the uh, jetpack there um, we're going to paint no silver any pipes or anything that needs to be silver as well we're going to paint with bolt gun metal um, also we're going to do the gloves um, they are going to be um, mechrite red foundation paint uh, and when I've done those um, we'll come back okay okay guys we're uh, we're back we've now done the uh, silver um, the red and as you can see all the silver and the red is uh, covered nicely it's got a nice covering of the uh, Mordian blue on there our next step what we're going to do is we're actually going to give it uh, a wash so um, just going to give it a, a wash of bad ab black everywhere all over every part that we've just painted so the whole figure is just going to get a, a good wash of that use a, a fairly good sized brush like a, a citadel wash brush that's the uh, that's the ones i do for that don't bother using your good brushes because it will ruin them <laughs> so that's what he looks like at the moment guys um i'll get the wash done leave it for uh, I would say at least half an hour depending on you know the temperature of your room and, and stuff but make sure it's fully dry before uh, we come back okay guys I'm gonna get on with that and um, I'll see you in a little while okay guys so uh, just done the wash I'm gonna give it um, probably a couple of hours to dry actually just to make sure it's all there um, as you can see it gives it a really dirty look it gets in all the grooves make sure you get all your wash into into your grooves and uh, all the recesses um, and if you get any air bubbles make sure you try and get those out as well because otherwise that's going to leave some nasty marks all over your figure and you really don't want that not after all this hard work that you put in so far okay um, so you've covered the whole lot with the wash um, the bad ab black wash um, let it dry and then we'll come back and we'll show you how to highlight it and, and bring it back up. Okay guys, thanks very much. Hi guys, we're just going to go back over the Bad Ab Black uh, wash that's on the, uh, the metal parts and uh, just going back over with the bolt gun metal leaving all the uh, bad black in the recesses of what we've just done 
so as you can see it's just uh, just going back over what we've already done but leaving that lovely bad uh, black in there to to shade it all up and this will make all your your metal parts pop out and stand out a little bit more we'll actually be um, highlighting just a little bit later as you can see just turn the figure around so you can get into the, the little parts okay right I'm going to go and finish that off and uh, I'll come back when it's all finished hi guys uh, right we're back again we've uh, just done all the metal parts um, gone back over them with bolt gun metal uh, what we're going to do now is go over all the uh, red on the gloves uh, we're going to do that in two parts um, the first part will be to um, just go over it with uh, red gore this time which is uh, a citadel paint and then we're going to uh, highlight that with um, just on the very edges where you think the light will catch it for instance uh, so the light, if the light was coming down this way we'd be uh, just highlighting at the top here uh, with um, blood red okay so what we're just literally going to do is uh, get some paint on your brush very tiny amount put that into your palette again add a little bit of water to it not too much but enough to make it flow and then what we're going to do is just go over all the red but leave some of that bad ab black wash in um, the recesses and just go over it over the red until you've got a good coverage as I say leaving the bad ab black inside um, all the recesses to you know, define all the, the shapes and that of the gloves and give it uh, some good shading so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of those uh, and then we'll come back and we'll we'll highlight that up and then we'll um, start to highlight the, uh, the blue up as well which we're going to use uh, ultramarine blue for. Okay guys, I'll see you in a little while. Hi guys, right, um, we've just highlighted the, uh, the red on the gloves then. Um, as you can see what we've done is we've uh, still left some of the red gore showing and just highlighted uh, with the blood red where the light is going to hit the gloves so that's that that's what that uh, that's the gloves now highlighted and finished so what we're going to do now is we've got ultramarine blue which is what we're going to do some um, line highlights uh, what I do is I make a fairly um, runny consistency paint for this use a fairly um, small brush the brushes I use are um, Windsor Newton series 7 brushes a bit expensive but hey they'll last you a lifetime if you look after them so get some paint on your um, on your brush rub most of it off like you would if you were dry brushing and then what I do um, is I just use the edge of my brush and go along the very edges lightly touching and you'll see the paint coming off which is giving to give you a very very fine highlight and it's not going to saturate all the uh, the other color which is already on there so what you need to do is you need to go around all your edges it's going to take you a while but the end result is is well worth it um, when you're getting onto the uh, the straighter flatter uh, parts which which will need the highlights just try and use the tip of your brush and and use some some brush controls you can see my hands 
I keep my hands very close together gives me a bit more control over over where my brush is going right I'm going to carry on and do that and I'll come back and show you when it's finished okay guys um, there you can see we've uh, we've done the uh, blue highlights around all the edges the red highlights have now been done the figure is nearly complete now um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to do the eyes and this is something that I found um, really difficult to do but it's really easy once you get the hang of it so what we're going to do is we're going to start with some red gore <clears throat> and use I use quite a small brush for this but make sure your paint is thin make sure you have um, a really thin paint so I mix the paint up I rub all the paint off of the brush making sure I'm left with a fine point twist the, the brush into the paint so you get a you get a point onto your brush and then what I do is I find out where the eyes are start at the back corner and drag that forward and that's for the first eye turn the model upside down and repeat the process for the second eye I'll just go back over the first one again there right now what we do while that's still wet we put some blood red <clears throat> into the eye again and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start about two thirds of the way towards the front of the eye and drag that forward towards the front so you're getting a, a bit of a contrast now And again, two thirds from the back, bring that to the front. And there he is. What we're going to do now is just drop a tiny drop of skull white. And I mean, it's just got to be a very, very tiny drop of this. right at the back of the eye you can see lots of theory on what people have said about um, about doing this you watch me muck it up now there you go and just get it held right there and there you go So that's that one done, we're just going to base him up now. Let me know what you think. Um, we'll base him up, do the base, uh, and put him with the rest of the squad, and then I'll put some still photographs of him up um, for you to look at. Remember, as always, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that um, this has been helpful to some of you out there. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Bye.